Hello everyone, it's Toronto's hardest working realtor and I'm outside of my new listing at 11 Lap. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two entrances, two car garage and two good to be true. At 11 Lap, you'll be taking another lap. You'll be sitting in the lap of luxury. You'll be lappy you came and I'll have you lapped around my finger by the time you're done seeing this video. Now get inside. First and foremost, let's check out this amazing sunroom, porch, mudroom off the front of the house. What do we have here? We have a sizable space that you can bring in your baby carriage, your bikes, your shoes, your boots, your snowboards, your skis, all the stuff that you need that you don't want cluttering the house in the basement in the garage can be right here at the front of the house and or this could be your perfect spot for spying on the neighbors, watching the passers-by, having a cold beer or a glass of wine or a cup of cocoa on a cold fall day. But we're not there yet. It's sweaty July and I got an amazing house with central air conditioning to show you. Let's check it out inside. As you can see, I'm standing in this awesome and trendy living room. It's got a cool hatched coffered ceiling detail that I really like. I love that it's nestled up against this window and you kind of get the flow from both rooms here. Really ideal size. You can put the big sectional in here. You got two chairs. You have this spot for a TV, which I know if you're looking at condos in the same price point, you're trying to figure out how do I make these small spaces work? Well, not at 11 lap. This place has the floor plan that you need to make your ideal living situation. You can see it in this living room. It's exactly where you want to entertain. It's where you want to watch the game. It's on point, it's trendy, and I'm excited about it. Can you tell? As I walk into this dining space, we got a six-seater diner here. This could be a little bit bigger, but right now it's the perfect size. Love this light fixture. It's kind of homemade, goes with the house. That completely complements this sliding barn door that just adds as a trendy accent, giving this house some character and some vibrance. I love it, it's exciting, you can feel its richness, really great living space, really great dining room, and yes, they flow together, so you have that open concept feel, but not one big open box as I take you into the kitchen. Standing here in this kitchen, I love it, got my hands on this beautiful white quartz countertop, undermount sink, love these flat black fixtures, love these little handles, just pops on these white cabinets, great appliances, double French door fridge, a nice built-in nook for your microwave. Behind the cameraman right now, we have a double pantry with a little bit of prep space and more drawers. In a house this size, you don't always see this big of a kitchen, but you see it here at 11 lap, it's really exciting, and look, I need in space here for your friends to sit or the kids to sit while they're doing homework while you're making dinner. It's a great space. It looks out into this gorgeous yard and it flows right through to the yard through this little laundry room. Great main floor laundry room, not down in the basement. Really excited about this kitchen space. I'm not going to take you outside just yet, but I'll show you. Here's this laundry room, perfectly suited off the kitchen because when we're prepping meals and we're doing stuff at the end of the day, it's nice to have these two utilities so close together. And of course, it flows right out to this yard. And we get that seating area. Can't wait to show that to you a little bit later. Now let me show you the other side of this kitchen. Again, we've already shown you this extra pantry space, but note it again, really valuable counter space, tons of storage, allowing that kitchen to feel huge and actually be huge. Over here, we got our separate entrance. It's coming in the side. It points right down to the basement. Ideal for those kids to come in. They can come in off the side, leave some boots and shoes here, go right down to the basement and start playing. There's a bathroom down there. There's a rough in for a wet bar. We'll show you that a little bit later, but just seeing this versatility, we have three entrances to the property right here on the main level. Really fantastic. You don't see that at every property. It gets the gears moving, gets you thinking, doesn't it? Now let's see this incredible upstairs. I really love these stairs, black and white. You get that little color pop, lovely trendy look as it goes up the stairs, making this house again feel character filled and trendy and on point, kind of cool. We got a great size room here. We got the full queen size bed, 
full size side tables. I love this double window with the canopy. Makes it feel cozy up here and you can really get a nice view of the street, but it still feels private. You got tons of room for a dresser over here or a wardrobe. And again, the trendy, cool warmness of this house coming out in these classic hardwood floors, making it feel this downtown vibe. I really like it. Really special room here at the front of the house. Let's see this second room. Here we are in the second bedroom. It's being used as a nursery right now, but you really get the sense of warm coziness in here. You got these bright hardwood floors coming up, this window with a yet another little canopy, which is really cute. And there's tons of room in here for dressers or you know a little wardrobe or something like that. Really usable space. You could certainly get a double bed in here as well as a crib. Awesome space. Excited to show you the next bedroom. Before I do, huge closet right here, massive for linens, overflow, great to have that extra storage. Okay, the third bedroom, also very large, we got a beautiful view of the backyard, tons of room and space in here, nice high ceilings, we got the full queen size bed, the big side tables, you got room for a big TV up there if you're a TV in room kind of person. Really like it, special bedrooms here. Again, love these classic hardwood floors, just warming up the space, giving it that authenticity and trendiness that we're all looking for. Great space, excited to show you the bathroom. Really great classic bathroom in here. You can see it's bright and open. We got white subway tile shower stall with a white tub. Classic, timeless, not going out of style anytime soon. Awesome new vinyl flooring in here, super durable. We got our throne, our vanity, and another matte black fixture. Really popping in the bathroom here. Great bathroom, really suits these three bedrooms. Tons of extra room in here so you can put more storage in if that's what you need. And you get a little view of the backyard so you can see what you're missing while you quickly wash up and get out there to have a party. Awesome space, let's check out this basement. Again, it's super handy that you can come right in this separate entrance and right down the stairs to the basement. So again, you don't have to track through the house with that big chest freezer, those bikes, all that stuff you want to put in the basement. You got more than enough room to move a huge chest freezer right downstairs, these big open staircase coming right in the side yard, private, under the shade, really great space right down to the basement. Let me show you the basement. Awesome basement space, love these warm floors, nice neutral space for a playroom. We got a full three piece bathroom down here, tons of storage over here off to the right hand side and there's a great spot here for a couch and a TV. Make this your sit in movie room, theater space, make it a little gym, do your yoga down here, tons of extra and versatile space down here. Nice little nook here. We got some plumbing and some electrical. You can put a bar in here, make it an entertaining space, have some drinks, put a nice machine in, be the king of the street, know everyone, have the party, have the games down here. Really sweet space. Check out the bathroom. Awesome three-piece bathroom down here. We got a glass shower, the throne, a nice sink, a little storage space here. Really super durable and neutral floors. We got that floor drain in here for the extra water coming off and a fan and a nice vent, making sure it's gonna be cool in the summer and toasty in the winter in here. Not like a lot of those basement bathrooms that are frosty. You got a great bathroom down here at 11 Lap. Now, let me show you this backyard. Great yard, people, great yard. We got a couple of entertaining spaces here. Tons of room right here for your sitting area, and we've set up a dining table right here to show you how great it can be to have those meals outside, barbecue with friends, and yet there's still tons of room here for the kids to run and play, for pets. And I'll bring your attention to how big this garage is. Now, Lap's actually a very wide yard. You got a huge double car garage here, which makes this an extra special property because we're not seeing that much parking in the city anymore. I know you know what I'm talking about. Let me show you this garage. Can you say double car garage? 
Look at how wide this garage is, people. You can park your Lamborghini over here and your Porsche 911 Turbo right here, or you know, your Land Rover SUV or your Sherman tank. Whatever you want, you got the space. You don't see that that often in Toronto. You see it here at 11 lap. Tons and tons of parking for you and your family. Ideal, people. It's on point, it's exciting, and look, this garage is in great shape. You can make it a workshop. You can store stuff in here. It's got an automatic garage door opener that works, a light that keeps it nice and bright in here, and it walks right out to the yard. Get creative with this space. Cut a little cabana bar in here and make it an extension of your outdoor entertaining space for those big backyard parties. If you're not excited about it, you're crazy. Now let me show you this side yard. So I really like this side yard and I'll tell you why. Yes, you can store stuff here like your garbage and recycling, but I'd be throwing that in the garage and making this a little side yard patio. It actually kind of has a European feel in here. We got this flagstone. Why not have a bistro table and a little cooler out here so you can stay out of the sun and have a couple cold ones on a hot day like this afternoon. It's a great idea. It's right near this separate entrance and it has this neat feel in here. Again, with this big, large, mature growth tree right here casting some shade, you can get that feel. Let's check out the front. So as you can see, there's a ton of real estate here at 11 Lap. In fact, you might want to look at it so many times, you'll do 11 laps around the block. Do you like my dad jokes? I sure do. Anyway, let's take a double take. We got three bedrooms upstairs, an awesome updated bathroom. We got a great main floor that gives you that modern trendy living that you're looking for. We got that separate entrance off the side, really nice and tucked away, goes right down to that basement. That basement's awesome, neutral, and ready for you to reimagine it. And we got a three-piece bathroom all ready to go down there. We got that double car garage for your Lamborghini and your Ferrari Testarossa. And we got that awesome entertaining yard. And we have it all here at 11 Lap that's located right off the stock yards so close to transit right near the junction and accessible from all different areas of the city I know you're excited I'm excited you got to get down here in person and check it out or you'll be crazy for now I'm going back into the AC now get out of here <laughs>